Whenever Chinese like to erect the most number of structures in the globe to demonstrate the strength of their infrastructure. In addition to building the world's highest bridge, they already have the world's longest sea crossing bridge. Additionally, the bridge between the two canyons is quite challenging to construct. The Japanese engineers found it difficult to believe. However, it only took the Chinese three years to complete. Once the bridge was finished, even after it was inducted into the Guinness Book of World Records, there was still concern that the bridge would end up failing like the Hong Kong July Macau Bridge. What sort of bridge is this then? The bridge's title, a bridge over the Bay Pan River. It is a substantial bridge in China that connects the provinces of Gizhou and Yunnan. The bridge is 1342 meters long overall, and the vertical distance from the bridge deck to the ground is 566 meters, or the height of a 200-story building. When the bridge was finished, the the citizens of the two regions have benefited greatly from the reduction in travel time between the two provinces, which was previously four hours. Additionally, it supported the two provinces' economic growth at the same time. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to Chet Project to keep up with the most remarkable and startling global projects. Ready? Let's start! The mountains mix in with the imposing mountains and breathtaking surroundings when they are veiled in clouds and mist. And amid the mist, the bridge is towering, become a heavenly road for people to leave safely in the highlands. Once the bridge was finished, it received the Gustavus Gold Medal, the 35th International Bridge Conference's Nobel Prize. It was chosen for the ultimate ranking of China's top 100 structures in the new age in 2022 and received the designation of tallest bridge in the world. The bridge has brought China much honor, but at, at the same time, some have expressed skepticism regarding the bridge. It was initially constructed in 2013, the year China revealed its proposal. Due to the bridge's hazardous position, American engineers think it is impossible for China to construct the bridge. China's construction will take at least five years, according to Japanese engineers. It suffices to note that the Chinese engineers face numerous unfathomable challenges while constructing the bridge. In actuality, China's transportation system is not well developed everywhere, and China still has a lot of underdeveloped regions. One location with exceptionally steep terrain is Huizhou. China has invested a significant amount of money and human capital in this endeavor, save the people of the Southwest from the confined and constrained valleys. Using this, life-saving supplies, the West can exit the Southwest mountains and enter thousands of homes. But where bridges are erected, the terrain is quite steep and the geology is extremely complex. Not just geological calamities frequently happen. In addition to bad weather, there is also significant wind here. Rain, thick, there is a lot of fog and ice everywhere. Building this bridge is therefore a tremendous challenge for the designers and engineers. The bridge is the first one, between two canyons, in between. More than 500 meters rise out of the canyon. Also challenging for building is the terrain's complexity. Furthermore, this is a mountainous region. Additionally, there used to be no significant route connecting to the outside world. The construction was challenging due to the tough terrain. To address this issue, several substantial bridge components cannot be brought in. A road that was constructed by China at great financial expense is mostly utilized to transport building supplies. Until after a solution is found for building material transportation, can we start discussing how to construct bridges? The second is that the two valleys high mountains have a lot of karst cave regions. The bridge constructed in the Cast Cave region is comparable to a Tofu Scraps undertaking. In order to ascertain, through drilling geophysical, the engineering team carefully investigated, CT scanning and prospecting. The development of the Cast Cave indicates that bridge construction has started. The third and final factor is to make sure the bridge is stable so that it can survive the local harsh weather conditions. The bridge's state structure is a steel truss and cable. Its cable stays are placed in a double row with a double lock surface that resembles a fan. The state cables have a significant impact on the stability and safety of the entire bridge. In relation to steel cables, the fact that the state cables utilized in this bridge have a strength to diameter ratio of only 15 millimeters illustrates the outstanding Chinese technology. It exceeded 1800. MPA smashed yet another world record and instantly exceeded the global steel strength standard. In the face of severe environmental issues, the fourth 
China has advanced in order to guarantee construction prices and high-quality standards, high fluidity, anti-sec irrigation, and bleeding capabilities in a smart concrete. According to its inherent gravity, this novel type of concrete may be packed evenly and densely, and as a result of the climate issue, it uses the cloud computing experience technique, which can more effectively guarantee everyone's safety. Additionally, engineers have added numerous sensors on the bridge. The bridge varies. On the bridge, the sensors will provide a variety of data to the information cloud. The information cloud will perform a thorough examination of the bridge's state before sending the results to the manager's mobile phone. Additionally, the engineer is capable of realizing bridge remote monitoring. It is comparable to placing an EKG monitoring equipment on a person. The issue of water access must be resolved next, although there is a choppy river at the mountain's base. On the peak of the mountain, there is little water. Ultimately, we, the only option was to construct a reservoir on the mountainside and utilize water pumps to convey the water to the summit. Addressing the water issue, the greatest issue is with the power source. However, I want to use a transformer. Large cars cannot be transported on a rough mountain road. Ultimately, it can only be moved by the most agrarian of human beings. After more than a month, more than 30 employees used crowbars to move the transformer piece by piece along the 40-centimeter mountain road. The wait for the construction-related electricity network was then another three months, and the building itself has just started. The construction involved the the bridge deck girder must be put in stages, but since each section weighs hundreds of tons, each stage can only be disassembled and carried to the building site piece by piece. This was discovered by the construction party. Following the workers, on top of the, the little components were put together. Cliff, they raised the building. The construction crew continued to work quickly despite the inconvenience. China finished the bridge in under three years, surprising the Japanese engineers who had anticipated it would take much longer. That would take if they constructed the bridge, a minimum of five years, to finish. Environments are stunning in Huizhou and Yan'an. Environmental concerns must be carefully considered if construction is desired in this area. Consequently, when constructing the bridge, low-cost construction is another priority for the building crew low energy use and pollutants, consumption, from conception to execution. Environmental protection is practiced to the fullest extent possible. The bridge is well known both domestically and internationally for its relative height, surpassing the Cedar River Bridge and taking the title of tallest bridge in the world. The bridge cost more than $160 million to build in total. Is purchasing such a bridge at such a high price truly worth it? A few strangers even hold out hope for the bridge. Becoming a failing bridge similar to the July Macau Bridge in Hong Kong. Is this a true statement? In fact, the connectivity between Hong Kong and Macau will greatly benefit from the opening of the Hong Kong July Macau Bridge. It also occurs in mainland China, boosted the three regions economies after the bridge was finished. Due to the recent crown epidemic, there weren't many automobiles on the bridge. Profits cannot be made in any way. For a number of years, when it is finished, which, because of the area's rough terrain, the outside world thinks that the bridge collapsed when it was initially opened. All year long, there were lots of clouds and fog. Round and its usefulness had not yet been shown. But after a number of years, according to current progress, building this bridge was not a waste of time. It meets a genuine need for urban development and offers additional room for regional growth. Whether a bridge exists, or a road, it encourages the link between the locals and the outside world as well as their convenient mobility. World, the bridge's completion put an end to this region's historical lack of highway connectivity and strengthened China's national one belt, one road poverty. Alleviation Initiative Additionally, allowing the villagers in the canyon to exit the mountains on foot has improved the efficient and streamlined movement of people, knowledge, capital, and goods between regions. These are sufficient to demonstrate that the bridge project is not a phased one. Its completion has gotten better. The standard of living of people rose. Thanks for watching. Click on these video to watch about another amazing project you didn't know about.